just walk me through again. I'm a first time founder hiring my first growth hires. Interview, case study, deep like how do we structure that process? I mean, so the first interview is a interview about their background and kind of what led them to you. What I'm really looking for is take me through the journey of your career. Why did you choose the things that you worked on? What are some example projects that you helped guide and how did you guide them? I really love going through examples of what people have worked on, asking them to break down kind of why things worked the way they did and how they would have gotten more impact out of it if they could. Um, what are the best and what are the worst there? What are the green flags and how they describe those experiences and what are the red flags? The thing that I'm really looking for is the ability to understand the system behind what's happening. Can they can they understand that it's not just about you know adding an entry point, but actually there's a value that matters for a person at a given uh, drop off point, and that that they can understand that there's something broader beyond just the one change they made, and kind of find consistent wins or you know break it down into like how could you take that and maximize something. Um, those are some of the dimensions that I'm really looking for in that background. Is you know can can they can they think broader than just the example uh, about their kind of role and how they entered that. Room? Great people, I find, are people that, uh, you know, are able to take a problem, which is like, how do we get more people to sign up, break it down into composable pieces, and then figure out, you know, the, the seven things that you should try. And then this one works. Oh, let's take that one thing that works and, and 10 exit. Um, that is often the thing that I'm looking for in that kind of background thing. In the worst cases, the thing that I see is, you know, someone that is just kind of running a playbook, uh, someone that is, you know, just doing the thing that either their company would do or, you know, when you could find on a blog or things like that, like to me, you have to be curious. You have to be trying to understand how the dynamic of the product is actually working, not just, you know, what uh, what's the change. Do you do case studies? And if so, do you do case studies with a company that they've worked with before or your company? That's a tough question. Yeah, it is a tough question. I mean, first, I think it's like really important not to just do case studies about the problems you have in front of you, because it kind of makes uh, the candidate feel like, they're just doing free work and like it's answering a question that you may already have an opinion about. So if I do use uh, my own company, I try to make it something that's general enough about a slightly different problem uh, that is maybe something that we could go after, but not the kind of problem of the day that helps kind of establish the framework for thinking and lets you kind of go deep on a couple of different dimensions. Um, and so case studies are critical, but I try to think about like, can it be about the more general problem of what the case study gets at versus something that, you know, would be influenced by my thinking of the day. Who do you bring in on the decision process? Who's the people who should be on the hiring committee that say, yes, we should hire this growth person? Yeah. I mean, I think that it should be the leadership team uh, should be kind of core to it and the people that are going to make decisions about the future of the company. I think the uh, cross-functional partners they work with is going to be critical. So the team they work directly with, if it's marketers, if it's engineers, uh, if it's partnership folks, you got to kind of get those people working together and understand, can they work uh, as peers? Uh, and then if there's going to be kind of reports, you need to get some report signal as well and management skills too. And so the thing I think you're looking for is kind of the 360 overview of how does that person work with other people? Um, and so that's some of the, the aspects that I think about. Um, I also think that, uh, you know, the analysis part is critical. And so if your company doesn't yet have an analytics team, like understand how you can try to build that kind of skill set or bring in external advisors because I think that fundamental to growth is analysis and you have to kind of add that skill set into it. How much do I pay them? What does that comp package look like, Ryan? I mean, I think compensation varies by location and the kind of seniority of the role. But but one dimension that I think is really important for a growth uh, role that is slightly different than maybe some other roles is that you really want skin in the game so that the growth person has, you know, equity upside in the problem. And so, you know, the thing that I would look for is what is the kind of combination of salary that kind of fits their needs, but then equity that has a meaningful contribution such that if that person succeeds, uh, they would have reasonable upside. And, and that is kind of the combination of things that I'm looking for. I think that, you know, it's good to kind of give a sliding scale of that, you know, present an offer, but say, you know, if you want more equity or if you want uh, more cash, like we can talk about that. But, you know, I think you, you do have to think about that balance of reasonable cash, uh, you know, sizable equity. Uh, and then trying to find that is important. The other thing is kind of uh, correlated with that is you have to be pretty critical about like if it's working or not. You don't want someone to have a huge equity package and just be sitting, resting, investing. You want them to like, you know, how, know that they're going to be evaluated by their performance and, you know, they will be compensated uh, as such. 
that like, you know, if you do well, you're going to have huge upside, but you know, if this isn't going well, we're going to, we're going to uh, call it. And so I think that that's a, an important aspect too. First growth hire. I'm, I, I dig now, my friend, I've been doing many shows. It, it's not a senior hire. It's a 28 year old to 35 year old, but it's a first growth hire. So it's not a growth leader. What's that range in terms of salary? In the United States, which again is maybe not a, an assumption that I should have, but in the United States, I think it's a, a reasonable uh, assumption that uh, 150 to 250 cash and then some sizable equity package is, is the range that you're looking for. That kind of varies by seniority and skill set and ability to kind of manage or build a team uh, and experience. Um, but I think that, that you're kind of looking for that. You don't want to try to match some of the you know big companies that can offer huge salary and equity packages. You do want someone to, to be scrappy and to understand that their upside is going to come from the growth and equity.